Hey everyone, Sunny here from Online Sales Funnel Academy. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about Russell Brunson's Epiphany Bridge script. Okay, so I am talking primarily today, I am pulling my today's sample out of Expert Secrets written by Russell Brunson. Um, this Epiphany Bridge script that he calls it is super important to our marketing message. And it is located on page 114. Um, of the book and it literally says right there the epiphany bridge script Okay, so the reason that the epiphany bridge script so what is it like why is it so important? What did I enough for me to be making a video about it? Um, I want you to think back to every movie you've ever seen ever like let's think of Star Wars, right? Um, there's always like a format It's also called the hero's journey. Okay, so for in order for effective storytelling to happen you have to engage with the backstory of your main character. So whether it's Luke on Tatooine or, you know, Luke's out there all by himself and oh no, he lost his mom and dad and he lives with his aunt and uncle, right? And then, you know, he goes on this adventure. But while he's on this adventure, things happen to him and for him, the good and the bad. And he goes through a series of ups and downs in the story, right? Until he towards the, you know, two thirds of the movie, he goes to do a thing, any, any movie ever, they go to do a thing, they encounter some pitfalls, and in the end, there's finally triumph, and hopefully if the viewer is rewarded, there's also a transformation of the character that happens. Well, we call this the Epiphany Bridge script, we call it the, the hero's journey, if you're um, in Hollywood and you're talking that language. But the reason that this is so important for marketing, especially on social media, is that if you can understand the, uh, um, the ability to tell a story with your content, when you're doing your content marketing on either on Facebook or YouTube, um, you're, if you will be able to connect with your humans out there that in such a way that, you know, humans are hardwired for stories, right? Like, we were supposedly cavemen that came down and we told stories to our, about our ancestors to our kids and that's how we taught them things. And we are literally hardwired for stories, right? So the Epiphany Bridge script is called the Epiphany Bridge because what it does is it bridges your customer's belief system from unbelief over to belief. So if you tell your story in such a way that um, uh, that you had struggle and then you went through, uh, you decided to have this new idea about this new way to do things. And you explain this while you're delivering your content, it will allow your readers to connect with you in a way that they understand you, that they are emotional, and it'll hit them in the, in the heart, you know, solar plexus, where they are like, hey, you know, oh shoot, that happened to you? I thought I was the only one. And it lets, gives them an opportunity to care, right? If you just tell a story and go online and say, um, hey, here's the six, the six ways that, um, you know, to uh, have glossy hair, blah, 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 in the end, right? And you're selling a hair product, like no one really cares. But if you're like, hey guys, um, I, I wanna tell you a story today about something that happened to me when I was in high school, I could not get my hair to be shiny for the life of me. And I tried multiple products all the time. It was a really big pain point for me because everywhere I went, the kids made fun of me. You see where I'm going with this? I'm totally making this up as I go, okay? But you see what I'm saying? Then you're like, so I tried multiple products and I went to the doctor and he gave me prescription shampoo and I came home and when I tried it, some of my hair fell out and that made it worse and I had to wear a hair bandana on my head. And then kids were really making fun of me. So here's what I decided to do. I decided to set out and, and you know, go to all the doctors until I was able to find one or to find a home remedy that worked for me. So I ended up whisking eggs and mayonnaise into a bowl and applying it to my hair. And wouldn't you know it, within two weeks, I had bright, glossy, shiny hair and all the people wanted to know how I did it. And before long, I was able to sell my own hair product. Okay, I made that up. Okay, on this, I've never had that problem with my hair. I completely made that up. That is the template of the Epiphany Bridge story. Which one do you think is gonna get more engagement? Me reading off the six things that are wrong with your hair? One, your hair is not glossy. Two, you don't have enough vitamin D. Three, 
or you telling a story in such a way that it, cre it connects with your audience. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed today's uh, video. I know I enjoyed creating it for you. Um, again, there will be a link in the description down below. Um, if you have not uh, set out to make this a number one priority for a content marketing, you're missing the big picture, right? Story selling, it's a big thing. It's how you get your products sold. Your products are sold during the story, not when they click on that little button on your page. All right, you guys, I hope that was your epiphany for today. So go ahead and uh, if you want to order um, Expert Secrets here by Russell Brunson, there'll be a link in the description down below. I'll drop a question. Let me know if you have any questions about this content and I'll give it back to you as soon as I can. All right. Also, if you enjoyed this content today, be sure to check out the link in the description down below. Um, I have a monthly membership program where I teach entrepreneurs and business owners how to um, put their sales funnels together and craft their message in a way to get more leads and more sales for their businesses. So you can go ahead and check out that link in the description down below. Um, the, uh, we are hosting that over on the Facebook group of Online Sales Funnel Academy. All right, we we'll hope to see you in there. Bye-bye.